So we've seen that we can add a bunch of stuff at the beginning of a verb to give information about who or what is doing it, to who or what it is being done, and when. No. In Swahili, we don't just have the resource of adding to the beginning of verbs, but also to the end of them too. So when we add on to the beginning of the verb, we are giving information about who or what is involved with the verb and when. When we add on to the end of the verb, we alter the verb's actual meaning. So for example, to read, no, to read is one meaning, one idea, but to be read is a slightly different meaning, a slightly different idea, but an important difference. To eat is one meaning, and to be eaten is quite a different one, no? Compare I ate and I was eaten. So in Swahili, we can achieve shifts such as these in the verb's meaning by changing the ending of the verb. So as we've seen until now, when we add information about who or what is doing the verb, who or what it is doing to and when, all of that goes at the beginning. But when we want to alter the overall meaning of the verb, we will fiddle with the end. So, to get the meaning of to be whatever, to be read, no, to be eaten, to be liked, mostly we will just put a W before the final A of the verb. So, kusoma is to read and to be read is kusomwa. 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 What is to say or to speak? Kusema. And to be said? Kusemwa. Kusemwa. What was to see? Kuona. Uh, Kuona. They saw us in town. Wali tu? Wali tu na? Ndini. Ndini. So, Kuona is to see, and to be seen is? Kuonwa. Kuonwa. And this W, or this Wa on the end, is actually from to be, Kuwa. So, Swahili is creating this idea in a very similar way to English, no? In English, we say to be seen, and then... Swahili is just sticking B on the end, no? Kuonwa. So, if you wanted to say we were seen in town, you would just build from to be seen. Kuonwa. We were seen in town. Tuli, tuli onwa mjini. Tuli onwa mjini. We weren't seen. Um, ha, hatuku onwa that's it, we weren't seen, okay. no? Very good. <laughs> hatuku onwa, hatuku onwa. One word, we weren't seen. They were seen at the hotel. They were seen at the hotel. Wali onwa hotelini. Wali onwa hotelini. We didn't see them. Tu, tu, na. hatuku, hatuku onwa. It's not to be seen, no? It's just to see. Ah, yes. Um... Hatukuwaona. 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 So this isn't to be seen, it's just to see. We didn't see them. Hatukuwaona. To bring, to bring in Swahili is kuleta. Kuleta. L-E-T-A. K-U-L-E-T-A. Kuleta. Kuleta. How would you say I brought them here yesterday? And this them refers to books or any other key noun. So I brought them here yesterday. Nili vileta. Here, uh, nili vileta, nili vileta I brought them here yesterday and we mean people. We can use this to bring people as well. So I brought them here yesterday. Nili waleta uh, hapa jana. Nili waleta hapa jana. What was my friend? Uh, Rafiki Niyam. Rafiki Yangu. What would be to be brought? Letwa. Kuletwa. 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 To be brought. So you could say the books were brought here yesterday. The books were brought here yesterday. Pitabu wali. But this would be people, no? Wa refers to people. Pitabu yeah. vili uh, vili. Letwa hapa yana. Good. The books were brought here yesterday. Vitabu vili letwa hapa yana. Good. If you want to say the books were brought here by my friend, this by is na, with my friend. The books were brought here with my friend. So words like na, with, uh, kwa, 
for these are called prepositions these little words they are words that show position or movement to for by with and they tend not to overlap very well in different languages. Now, in one language you will say with, in the other language you will say by, or in one situation you can translate the word as by, but in the other situation you need to translate it as with, and this is a very common thing with prepositions moving between languages. So not something to get confused about, just something to look out for. So if you want to say the books were brought here by my friend, by here is enough. So, the books were brought here by my friend. Kitabu, Vili, Letwa, Hapa, Narafiki, Yangu. Very good. Vitabu, Vili, Letwa, Hapa, Narafiki, Yangu. So, Kuletwa is to be brought and to bring is? Kuleta. Kuleta. My friend will bring me here tomorrow. My friend will bring me here tomorrow. Rafiki, Yangu. Ata nileta hapa kesho. Rafiki yangu, ata nileta hapa kesho. <laughs> Very good. 